Hey everybody, uh, this one's translating trig graphs. So I'm on my prep period and the bell's going to ring here shortly and so you'll hear the next class next door coming in. That's all that is. It'll quiet down. I'm sure it will. So anyway, so um, uh, how do the constants h and k in the functions f of x equals a cosine of b times x minus h plus k and then there here's x minus h plus k and x minus h plus k affect their graphs. Okay, now in the last lesson, or maybe two lessons ago, this was our k. I'm going to change it to b, and I did change it to b, uh, so I'm, I'm teaching it with b, but the video I put on, I, I said this was k, but I'll, we'll talk about that as soon as we get to it, okay? All right, so translate, and recall the characteristics of the sine graphs, you guys. So one period is in 2 pi, and um, and so from a length of 0 to 2 pi, we start it and end it at 0. Halfway, which is at pi, at 0. Halfway between that, it goes plus 1. So this is pi over 2, and this is 3 pi over 2 at negative 1. So starts and ends at 0, half at 0, half at plus 1, half at minus 1. Okay? All right, cosine characteristics. So that one period is in 2 pi, and this one starts and ends at 1, positive 1. Halfway, which is at pi, at negative 1, and then halfway at the pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2 at 0. Okay, and then uh, the characteristics of the tangent graph. One period is only in pi, okay? So I, I, I don't know a better gimmick, so I use a gimmick on 2 pi, you guys. So it starts and ends at 0, so it starts at pi, or it starts at 0 and ends at 2 pi at 0, halfway at pi at 0, and then halfway between that, which is pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, are asymptotes, and then halfway between those, which are pi over 4s, are plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, minus 1, okay? So, uh, so when graphing um, uh, the a sine b of x minus h plus k, or cosine, I can insert cosine there, or tangent right there, um, a is still the amplitude, how high it goes up and goes down, and then the length of the period is 2 pi divided by this number right here for sine and cosine, because sine and cosine, that one period is in 2 pi. So if there's a number in front of that, then we do 2 pi divided by that number. And tangent, there's one period in pi, so that's why this is just pi over, over that number in front right there, okay? So you're going to hear one more of those bells here shortly. So the graph gets translated by HK. Think opposite, same. Okay, and then there's this new thing called the midline. So this book wants us to talk about the midline. It's just Y equals Y equals K right there. It's the, I guess, the middle of the graph. Okay, so we're going to graph each function. Now your textbook says identify the period. Well, we can do that. And the midline of the graph and where the graph crosses the midline. And... And for sine and cosine functions, identify the amplitude and the max and the min. So I'm just going to identify the max and mins and the midlines, you guys. And for tangents, tangents don't have a max because they go up forever and they go down forever. So they don't have mins either. But identify the asymptotes and the values of the halfway points, okay? And then graph one cycle. Okay, so here we go. All right, so this is a sine wave, okay? So on the sine waves, you guys, let's first move the origin HK. So think opposite same. Sorry. Sorry about that, you guys. So I'm going to go to the right, pi over 3, and down 1.5, okay? So shift the origin. It's not the origin, but we'll pretend like it's the origin. And if we do that, then all we got to do is deal with this part of the equation right there. And then it's like the, the lesson we did before. Okay, so now graph that. Okay, so now this 3 says that there's 3 periods in 2 pi. Okay, so that means there's 1 period in 2 pi over 3. Okay, so 2 pi over 3 is right to there. Okay, so notice there's, this goes by, this is pi over 6. This is 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3. 3 pi over 6 is pi over 2. Here's 4 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6. Look, 6 pi over 6 is pi. 7 pi over 6. Okay, so 2 pi over 3 is 1, 2, 3, 4 tick marks. So we're going to start it right here and go 4 tick marks, okay? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, uh, the point 0.5 in front says it goes up and down point 0.5, okay? So, so sine starts and ends at 0. So here it is. So it's going to start here and end here, 4 tick marks, at 0 halfway at 0, so that's right here at 2 pi over 3. 
halfway at positive 1, but it's actually 0.5. So these are going by 0.5, so I went up 1 square, and then halfway between these guys at negative 0.5. Okay, connect them up. Okay, and then state the maxes and the min. So the max is at here, at uh, pi over 2 and, and negative 1. Can you see we're over here at pi over 2, negative 1? And then this one is at... Um, uh, 5 pi over 6, and it's down there at negative 2 right there. And the midline is y equals this number right here, y equals negative 1.5. All right, let's do this tangent graph, okay? All right, let's first shift the, okay, let's write, okay. On tangents, you guys, there's one period in pi. There's one period in pi. There's one period over here in pi. We're going to focus on this area right here all the time, okay? So this length is pi. Can you see if we go pi? Uh, pi over 2 to the left and pi over 2 to the right. The whole length is 1 pi. So we'll use this area as our period right here, okay? So um, let's go ahead and shift the origin. So to the left pi up 3, okay? So I went to the left pi up 3. Now look at these. These are going by pi over 4. Here's, let's go this way, pi over 4. Here's 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. Here's 3 pi over 4. Here's 4 pi over 4, which is pi. 5 power over 4, here's 6 power over 4, and we can go negative that way. So we're going to go to the left, pi, up 3, okay? Now notice, uh, to, to get to this asymptote, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces, okay. Now, we don't need to worry about this pi and this plus 3 anymore. We now can just graph... Uh, this uh, y equals just take out the pi and the plus 3 in there, okay? All right, so this says there's one half in pi, one half of a period in pi, okay? So remember, here's one pi for the regular tangent of x, okay? We go to the left pi over 2 and to the right pi over 2, so here's pi over 2, here's the pi over 2, which is that's a length of 2 pi over 2, which is pi. There's my period right there. All right? So there's this says that there's one half of a period in pi. So it's like multiplying both sides by 2 times 2 times 2. We get one period in 2 pi. Okay? So I'm going to go 2 pi um, from this way and this way. So that means I'm going to go a pi this way and a pi this way. Okay? So we're at negative pi. So if I go a pi this way, here's an asymptote right here, x equals 0 and go pi that way, and I got another asymptote of x equals negative 2 pi. Okay, so there's the asymptotes. Okay, now, um, uh, so we go halfway in between, and we go up plus 1. So we know it's going through 0, 0, so here's um, uh, this 2 tells us to go up and down 2. All right, so here we went halfway over, up 1, okay, because that's 2 right there. And we went halfway over, down 1, okay? So here we're going to go halfway over, there's four tick marks, so go over two tick marks and go up two because of the two right there. This, where is it? I lost it. This two right there. So we go in the middle of the origin and the asymptote, we go up this number and then go in the middle between this uh, origin and this asymptote and go down. All right, and then just make your tangent graph right there, okay? All right, so it does say state the asymptotes. So the asymptotes are x equals, they're vertical lines, x equals negative 2 pi and x equals 0. And then the midline is a horizontal line. That's always a y equals, so the midline is y equals 3. It's always that guy right there. All right, let's try a cosine 1, okay? All right, let's first uh, shift it to the right, pi over 2, and up 1. So it looks like these are going by pi's over 4's. 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 8 pi over 4, and so on. Let's uh, go to the right, pi over 2. So we're going to go to the right here and then up 1. So there's our new origin right there, okay? All right, now we just deal with uh, take out the pi over 2 and the plus 1s and then pretend like this is the origin, okay? Now this 2 right here says that there's two periods in 2 pi. So it's like dividing both uh, by 2. Divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and then... Um, we get one period in pi, okay? So I'm gonna go pi this direction, so from, so pi is four tick marks, so if I go four tick marks, one, two, three, four, so it's gonna end right there, 
Okay, now this is a cosine. Cosine starts and ends at 1, halfway at negative 1, but it's instead of 1, it's going to be this number. So that, that just tells us how much it goes up and down, okay? So cosine starts and ends at 1, but this is 2, halfway at negative 1, but that's negative 2, halfway at 0. So I'm going to start and end, start here, 2 up, and end over here, 2 up. And then halfway between them, so 1, 2, 2 down, so it's going to be right there. And then halfway between those guys is at the 0, but our 0 is on the midline right there, okay? So there's our cosine graph right there. All right, and then so this one has um, uh, the two maximums right here. Now the maxes are actually threes because this cycles, it just keeps going. It goes up and goes down, it keeps going. Over here it goes down and it goes up. So the max is this y equals 3. But the location of these two maps, uh, ma uh, maxes are pi over 2, comma 3. So over pi over 2, up 3. Over 3 pi over 2, up 3. And the minimum's over pi down negative 1, okay? And the midline is y equals right there. All right, hope that makes sense. And if you are in my class, there's your assignment. Take care.